around mid-August. Uh, um, and then it's quite quick. If we're successful, it's quite quick. It moves very quickly. Uh, in September, we, we have a formal agreement. So even, even if we're successful, there is still a lot of um, negotiation to do to, before we actually start because there has to be a formal agreement with the European Commission and the lead, which is, which is us, and then there has to be um, a formal agreement between each of the partners. Um, and, um, and in my experience of the, the other EU, EU project that um, we have, uh, it can take up to about three months to agree those, those contracts. Um, but those contracts are very, very clear about the work that's required and when, when the payment of the, because the payment comes in, in parts um, and, uh, and so on. So it's, it, everything, is, is, it's, it's, it, everything is very detailed right from the very beginning. Um, then on the 1st of October, the project starts and <laughs> the project, nothing in the middle, um, the project finishes September 2015. Um, and there's no flexibility on start and finish dates either. We're, we're just, I'm just in the last four months of a current, of a current project, a very similar size to this. And we had a meeting yesterday morning before I came away um, about it. And we, we are late on the project. And the um, UK Commission, who worked for the EU Commission, said there is no flexibility on, on, the, on the date. You must finish. We, we, there is no, you can't get any extension. And it's like, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Something will have to go. <laughs> but um, so, uh, yeah. And I think that's that's it. Oh, okay. Um, let me. Th this is. <laughs> I wish I, now I wish I hadn't put this slide in. <laughs> okay, I, I won't bore you with this. This is basically the the the. the oh, that's that's very low there. Ooh, it's bouncy. Yeah, it's bouncy. Um, this is basically how the, the work packages work over the, the 24 months of the project. So this is the two years of the project. And you can see that some things clearly operate for the duration of the project and some things like exploitation towards the, you know, the, the second part of the project. Uh, and, and we have a very detailed program month by month in every work package what is taking place. And again, for those of you who who have been involved in EU projects and so on in the past, you'll know how detailed that it has to be. And I, I have to say that every month, so the, if we were successful, we as the lead, every two months, we have a telephone meeting with the, with the UK Commission and they say, right, well, uh, month six, you said you were going to do this. So did the Spanish partner do that? Did the French partner do that? And it's as detailed as that. Well, no, actually, um, actually they haven't done it yet uh, because somebody was ill, uh, which is what I had yesterday. So um, she went, oh, well, are they very ill? I said, no, they're back now. <laughs> it was a maternity. Uh, she's pregnant. She had some problems. Of, you know, and it's as detailed as that. And I said, so the, so it was the German partner, actually. I said, so the German partner, um, they, they, they're a little late delivering that, but they have told me that I'll receive it uh, Friday. Um, so it's as detailed as that, the monitoring. So, um, so if we get it, <laughs> we have to keep to our time scales. Yeah. It's, um, it's the home country's agency for the European Commission, yeah. So if, it, if, if another country was the lead, it would be the French, yeah, yeah. So they're commissioned, they're commissioned by the Commission. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So every, every two months we have a telephone conversation about, about the, how the project's going. It's very tough. It is tough, yeah, because they're very, you kind of think, oh, what did, what did we say? Because, you know, we wrote this, you know, we wrote this application last year. So, but as of, if we get it, as of October, they'll be saying, well, you know, and it's like any plan. It's a plan until you actually start, you know, things change, but then they're not allowed to change. Is that, is that me? Uh, but I guess, you know, it's important, isn't it? Because it's a lot of money, you know, it's 300,000 euros. Uh, I can't remember exact detail, but, uh, exact amount, but it's you know 300,000 euros of public money. So, 
Um, so, anyway, I mean, you, you can have the slides, I mean, in, uh, uh, of course, and, but you can see here we have to, these are the outputs, so for, for every work package, so every, every partner is responsible for a, for a package, and this output is, is their responsibility. So they're coordinating those, that output, but, but that output, that output, that higher education institution toolkit will be in French, in Greek, in German, in Spanish, in English, uh, in Czech. I think that's the six. Yeah. And at the end, I think the exploitation has to be made all over Europe. Yeah, yes. And that's... that. Do they monitor it? Uh, no, no. I th it's really, that's really interesting because we're exactly in the same situation now. We're pretty much at month, month 19 um, of a project. And ours is an online... Um, an online um, uh, professional development pack, uh, pr product for health professionals, but we, we'll never. It's just, yeah, the, the, exactly. But we, we won't know. We, we, there is no money. There's no nobody will. Um, I mean, what, once the project stops, effectively that's it, which is a disappointment. That's just it. But I mean, I think for for, for my project, we we will continue it. But for this project, of course, I think because we've got such a network of the partners and advisory group and, I, and it's such an established network if, we, if, if these networks between employers and HEIs work then I think they will continue because we've got, we've got everything in place from, from, from you know, 15 years however long this group has been in existence to, to lead on and those, those relationships relationships over that length of time don't suddenly stop because the funding stopped. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But and and hopefully, you know, those type that type of we've we've written that into the application, and, and hopefully that will that's that will make our bid, you know, um, look different. So, but who who knows? All of this work may be for nothing. But well, actually, no, it won't be for nothing because if we're not successful with this application, we have a really good, you know. Um, project here, so we'll, we'll you know look for some. We'll look for a, another funding opportunity, uh, and we may have to change it slightly. But um, y you know, it's, t it's too much work has gone into this by by all of us <laughs> to um, to just say, oh, in August, okay, thanks very much. You know, let's move on to another project. We'll we'll do something at some point if it's not this time. <clears throat> okay, I think that's my that's me. Yes. Thank you. And any questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're going to the work. I would like to give you a congratulation for the presentation and your explanation. And also, uh, thank you for coming here to Moose here today because. I know you have to uh, do a big effort. You are very busy. Uh, a few days you have to go to Portugal. Mm. Uh, more, more, more. Uh, thank you. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Michael, because you are here and you are studying this interesting project, uh, sharing, sharing with us your time. I, th I think it's really important to th thank you. I think it's important. It's important to come because if we are successful, it's uh, I, we've spoken. Many of us have spoken on the internet or or through through our you know through um, Jurgen and Skype. You know, but it's um, it'll be good to to you know spend some time. Just just it's just good to, to meet people. And if we are successful, then you know I think it will help with the partnership. Um, you know, in the future. So, also say thank you to the building. Uh, yeah. Because they allow you to, to stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's it's. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, exactly all of. Yeah, absolutely, and and I would say yeah, it's it's a tremendous achievement to to get this far, you know, and and it involves, as you can see, it involves all all of us, and and we and we all play an important part. A year ago, we did not know 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one year later we have a, a, a promising bid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and as I say, if it doesn't, if it's not successful in August, employability of young people is is a very important issue in Europe, and it's not going to go away. So, you know. What are the chances that uh, this will get accepted? Uh, I don't know of any, I don't know, I don't have any sort of facts or figures of whether it's 1 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. Um, all, all my colleagues tell me it's, it's, it's a good bid, but it's very competitive. Yeah. It's, it is a bit like a lottery, I think. Euro millions. <laughs> Buy a ticket in August. <laughs> Maybe have some pride. <coughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Can be other exactly. You just don't know. The thing is, you just don't know who you who you are up against. It's like a job, isn't it? You know you can do the job when you go for the interview, but you don't know who's next yeah, to you. Sure, yeah. yeah. And they may have more than you or better ideas than you. <laughs> mm. The real thing in good stuff when you get the project. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Because all, all of this could be uh, for nothing. But but yeah. But I would just yeah say thank you. Uh, you know to to um, you know, repeat what what you, what you said. Thank you to everybody to to get to this stage, and um, you know and, and fingers crossed. Um, but we will do something if we're not successful. We'll do something somewhere else. Thanks to the organization last year. Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and it, it came from that, didn't it? Mm. Good, opportunistic. Okay. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the, 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 yeah, that which is good. We can. Made some comments. Yeah. Some points which uh, everybody is supposed to answer. Yeah. So we know a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. The exactly. About the problems. Yeah, which will be really useful, you know, yeah. moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, I thought it looked good. That's why Lorea is here for, for representing us for the whole duration. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I um. So I want to say that we are working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the original idea of this topic was to get the whole group a little bit closer together. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Over the year. yeah, 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 and and hopefully, you know, if we're successful, that's exactly what what will happen, won't it? Because, um, you know, we it, the the way the project has been developed is that um, over the 24 months, there are um, quarterly meetings, and um, what one of those meetings is an is an is an actual meeting in one of the partner countries, and the other meeting. Uh, the next meeting is a, is a Skype meeting, a virtual meeting. So twice, you know, four times, well, five times, I think, in the duration of the project, the partners will physically meet for a two-day meeting, which is why I, I can't stay more than today because we have our next meeting of my project in Portugal Monday and Tuesday, so I, I need to prepare for that and get to that. So, so yeah, so it's good. Well, you know, every, every three, every six months, you physically meet. And every three months, you know, you so so you can keep on 
on track with everything. So yeah, that would h help help with the the group as well. Yeah. So we just need the money. <laughs> um, I'm happy to meet you here. My name is Lara Bastia, and I'm the international manager of the School of Sports Science. And we're doing that for you at the University of Liverpool. It's a private university, and uh, I really am happy to be here. Uh, thanks to Roshan Kirk. And I'm happy to, to see this uh, presentation because we had the, the last uh, week a meeting with Bill uh, Clinton and uh, other foreign ministers from Europe uh, in the summit, youth and jobs. Uh -huh. So I'm delighted to, mm -hmm. to, to know that we are, uh, we are working in this project and I'm very sorry that we cannot be participate in, in this one, but maybe in the future. Well, there's, there's, there's no, I mean, if you're part of this network, and this network is part of the advisory group, then, then you know, we would welcome you, welcome you to, into the, the advisory group. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. And again, you know, uh, I think, you know, I, I, I mentioned before that it's not sensible to have more than one, part, one academic partner from the same country, but of course, you know, Spain is a, is a large, very large country. Murcia is in the south, southeast. Madrid's in the middle. So, you know, it's not going to, and, and Las Palmas as well. And there are, I know there are other Spanish universities in this network. So you, you'll cover, you know, you cover your country. And that's really important because, again, it's about reach across your, within countries and across countries. So, yeah, that's, that's I think, welcome. <laughs> Mm, yeah. The other institutions are, are public. public. That's true. So that makes it yeah. Difference. Yeah. And it would be very interesting, uh, Laura, to hear what your experiences are with your like, uh, situation. Yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, my colleague will come uh, today, and uh, he will make the presentation tomorrow. And um, we have an um, eighty percent of students who get. I think it's also important to have as many people when we, when, if we're successful and we start developing the networks between higher education institutions and employers, you know, it's, 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 um, if you've got an employer in, in the south, uh, south of a country and your university is in the north, you, you're, you, you, you need to be linked with a an employer that's in your area so your students can go there so the more the more we have the, the better the the only thing with the bid is we're only allowed um, you know six uh, six academic partners well we're not well if more than that is not sensible so um, so yeah that's why we you know we're hoping the advisory group will will be more uh, more inclusive yeah. any more questions Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm not always clear. <laughs> not in here, anyway. <laughs> okay, shall I? Uh, I, I, I will send um, Alfonso the presentation, and then yeah, you, you can send it. Uh, yeah. Ah, so Ernesto. Yeah. <laughs>